everyone, it's Jan. Um, I'm just going to be making a video to um, briefly go over how to make a simple um, movement system in RenPy. Um, so this is going to be very similar to what I used in my demo Hungry. Um, the only major difference is that um, I use object. I made my locations into object classes because um, there was a lot of different things that I wanted to kind of track in relation to how the player was interacting with each location in order to progress the story forward. So one thing to keep in mind when you have an exploration style um, game in RenPy is that normally like your traditional visual novel um, has a kind of linear chapter style of progression where you just kind of have you know, text, and then you have menu choices, and then you have text, and it kind of just goes forward linearly. Um, when you are giving the player the freedom to move around by location, um, progression has to be kind of tailored a little bit differently. Um, so you will probably have to kind of keep track of certain things to trigger certain events to kind of propel the story forward. Whether that be um, discovering a location for the first time, visiting a location so many times, or having some other type of event variable or item in your inventory or something kind of to trigger that event um, to take place to progress the story forward. Um, so. I usually keep track in my locations of like whether or not it's um, it's able to be visited, of if it's been discovered, um, how many times the players visited it. Um, so those are all kind of things that are easier to keep track of when you make um, object classes. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to stick to uh, variables just to make it simple and try to make this um, kind of like a short, um, simple solution to making this, um, these image buttons. So, um, in this game, you have um, your, your screen of the different um, buttons that the player can interact with. Um, the movement buttons here will trigger a call statement that assesses what location you're at and then has you jump to the corresponding location. So in that case, I had gone north from the campsite and now I'm at this uh, crossroads. So if I go back south, again, it's going to go to that call statement that's assessing that I'm currently at this crossroads. And due to the location I'm at, it says, okay, well, south should be the campsite. And when we look at the map, and it's like, oh, yes, we are south. So how does that look like when we are programming with kind of your very standard bread and butter tools? Um, in RenPy. We're just going to be using labels, um, jump statements, call statements, variables, if and um, if conditionals and um, image buttons. Let me go ahead and open this project. So I did kind of start penciling in just the bare bones stuff so that you wouldn't have to see me slow type everything. Um, opening script. I'm just going to create this variable called current location so that way we can assess what location the player is at. I have all these images in the image folder. Normally I would break these down into their own directories to like kind of organize it better but um, basically I just have the image buttons for when it's idle and for when the player hovers over it so that they can know that they can click and interact with this object. Um, and then I also have um, some backgrounds here, just so that we know that we are moving in the correct place. I went ahead and just kind of labeled each location in its proximity to our start point, so that way we could just easily reference that, but obviously you'd want a better system for creating 
your locations in your map. Um, I wouldn't recommend this approach to making like a hundred room labyrinth. <laughs> I think it would get pretty out of control. Um, but if you have, you know, something that maybe around 10 locations and then they can maybe move to a different map that might have 10 more locations. If you have that type of a system, then this really isn't too bad. So my original script here, I'm going to start the player off in the campsite. Um, and then I have a label for that. So I'm going to have them jump to the campsite label. And this I do have in a different folder, all of my locations. So here I'm going to go ahead and start off my label with displaying the image background. I'm going to go ahead and set that current location variable to camp, even though that is our default um, location. If we leave that loca if we leave the camp location and then come back to the camp location, we want to reset that current location back to the camp location. I have a little bit of dialogue here. And then I made another call statement here for show buttons. And um, the show buttons is going to hide the text window. It's going to show my screen of the image buttons. And it's also going to pause the, the screen for player interaction so that if they click anywhere on the screen, they're not going to just like jump back to the start um, to the start menu. You have to have something like this in here or else when the player goes to click on your image buttons, if they click on like some part of the screen, like it'll just, it'll run the script right back to the, um, to the start menu. So, um, this is kind of like a hard, similar to a hard pause, I guess, except for it's waiting for the player to interact. I'm not really 100% sure. Uh, to be honest, I just tried a bunch of different things until I finally got something that seemed like it worked. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, so that's what I have for my call statement. The difference between jump statements and call statements is that when you jump to a label, it is going to just um, bring you to that label. If you do a call statement, it's going to run whatever is in on that um, that file and then it's going to pop you back into where you, you left off. So it's really important with any call statements that you make their own file for it because like, if I put another label underneath here it's going to keep running all the scripts on this page. So um, having only this on this uh, file is going to bring the player back to wherever they left off um, in their label. So what is my screen buttons? My screen buttons, the move buttons here, is um, so RenPy screen language, you're going to start out by making this um, screen uh, function and then we are going to use this image button nesting inside the um, the screen that we're going to be displaying. I'm actually going to have four image buttons that are going to sh display when this screen is um, told to display. One for each direction. So here I am making an image button which um, basically means that it's going to display the, um, the PNG here. It's going to display this PNG when it's idle or not being hovered over or clicked on. And then it's going to display this ver this image when the player is hovering the cursor over the, um, the active image. And then if they click on it, it's going to take this action, which is going to call this label. And this here is just the position of where I'm placing the image. So I've done that for um, the north arrow, the south arrow, the east arrow, and the west arrow. When we go to the script for moving north, I have, I'm telling it to hide the move buttons because I don't want them to move immediately. 
once they move to their new location. I want them to have to load the map and read whatever text. Um, I have a sound effect here to play footsteps. And then I have a conditional here that if they are the current location is camp, they are going to move to Emil's house. And then because I don't have any other locations planned, if it's anything else, then it's just going to say that there's no other locations available. And then I want to show the move buttons again so that the player can try a different choice. And then I'm going to do this same thing for... Um, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to do that for the south label. So again, if current location, then we're going to go to south. Uh, what did I have for the location for south? Um, I have the ranch. And then um, we are going to do the same for... Actually, we're going to add another thing. So, ALIF, um, current location equals... Because you can go north up to Emil's house. So if it's Emil, then we're going to jump to the start camp again. All right. Um, yeah. And so we'll go back to the north, and if ALIF current location equals, if we are at the south at Emil's house, then we're also going to jump back to the um, start camp, the middle location. And I'm going to do that for um, the east location as well. And we're going to say maybe for current location, then we're going to move, if it's a start point, then we're going to move east to, what did I say, the tree. And then if we are at the west location, which I think is um, Nate's house. Then we're going to go back to the start point again. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for the west call statement. West is Nate's house. And then if we are at Tree, then we're going to go back to the. Alright. So, how does this actually look when we launch the project? Whoops. This always happens. So, I forgot to put a hole in there. I'm just bugging out so that one thing. Okay. So if we start, you will be starting at the campsite. Here we are at the campsite. Where would you like to go next? Use the directional list to move. Okay, so we have our image buttons here that are hovering. If I go west, we are at Nate Harris's house. Use directional arrows. So again, I just programmed these other buttons to say location is not available. But if we go, did I name it something else? Dumb. <laughs> East. Start camp. Why did I name it campsite? Alright, so for whatever reason I decided to name that campsite. Who knows why I decided not to stay consistent, but this is probably why you should not just have some arbitrary name that I'm doing right now. <laughs> Thank you. 
east, Morgan's tree, west, north, south, and all those are working properly. Whoops, except for that one. Why is that one not working properly? <laughs> Move north. This should be H. Let's refresh that. And now it's working. Okay, so I hope that you found that helpful. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to um, write in the comments or shoot me an email and I can try to go over things more in depth, um, but I wanted to kind of keep this short and sweet. So um, if you decide to add any um, exploration to your um, game, um, this may be an easy solution for you if you are a beginner, a non-programmer like myself. <laughs> Alright, take care. Bye-bye.